everybody, Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So, we're doing another Tropical Outlook here. We do these once a week. The Tropical Updates are a little bit more of a briefer discussion as to what's going on here. But we're taking the full overview, we're going to be looking at both the Atlantic and the Pacific. So make sure you're hitting that like button, by the way. So, that being said, Atlantic's pretty busy right now, for the most part still. We have Francine now out of the picture, finally. But we do have a disturbance that's off of the East Coast here with a 40% chance of development. And then, of course, we had Tropical Storm Gordon form just as we were predicting a few days earlier. So Gordon, I'm not too concerned with right now. It's not really looking all that organized on satellite. And this is expected to take a turn out to the north. We're still going to go ahead and go over the track here. But this storm has already had its best day from the looks of it here. And... As we go further and further off to the north here, the environment becomes a little bit more hostile when it comes to tropical development here. We shift our attention towards the Pacific, and we have Alina, which is heading onshore to Mexico now as a tropical storm, and a minimal tropical storm at that. It's not going to be too much of a problem for much longer here. This is going to bring some much-needed moisture to some parts of the southwest here. Fortunately, we can't get it all the way over to the southwest because we would need we need these conditions over here we need the rain over towards california and arizona where wildfires have been a huge problem as well as air quality here and i think this would help improve things we still have the chance of some showers and storms forming as a result of some of the ambient moisture here so fingers crossed we can get a little bit of improvement there so we look at the week two and three outlooks as far as the tropics are concerned main three areas that we're watching of course and this is on a worldwide scale we're seeing over towards asia or the northwest pacific it's pretty busy over there not really surprised to be had but over towards the atlantic we have two points of interest one of which is over towards that east coast as we mentioned before we also have the main development region looking pretty active as well as southwest mexico we're gonna have to watch this is where elena formed and we'll probably be expecting new development in due time there as well you can see it on the week three outlook as well. Eventually, the threat for the East Coast or development is going to be off the East Coast does kind of slow down just a little bit. So another thing to make note of here before we move on also is over towards West Africa, where we see that above average chance of rainfall over week two and three. We've got to keep an eye on that because usually that will mean storm systems that will be coming off that West African coast here and heading out into the Atlantic, and that's usually where we'll get the majority of our action from the main development region. So, still looks like we're going to be pretty busy. We might get at least one more named storm from the looks of it, possibly. So, that'll make three for the month, which kind of matches up with our hurricane season. This is peak season right about now, so, well, we'll have to just see how things pan out, but does look like busy times will be persistent across the Atlantic here as well as the Pacific. We already know the deal with Elena here. It's going to be dissipating over Mexico. This is a look at Gordon here. And as you can see, this is the track that we just were mentioned. Going to be making a big turn to the north here into a less favorable environment. You can already see that the storm system itself is already struggling with wind shear too. Storms literally getting sheared apart. Dry air is also coming into play as well. So Gordon's kind of get, getting uh, hammered at both sides here. So, again, here's the track to kind of go along with it. No real threat to land at this current point in time. It weakens for a little bit, but is anticipated to re-strengthen briefly, it looks like. But as it pushes further off to the north, then that's when I would say that we will see the storm go bye-bye, so to speak. But in any case, though, let's go ahead and go take a look at the environment over the Atlantic. So wind shear is actually going to be a little bit more favorable as we go further along here. This is going 72 hours out and look at how, how much lighter the wind shear is over that main development region. And this is why my confidence is so high that we'll probably see another named storm. Wind shear hasn't been that big of an issue this year. It's really more so been the dry air over the region. And it looks like that's going to continue to be the case as far as the wind shear is concerned. The dry air in the Saharan dust is still going to be a bit variable at this time. And here's a look at that dry air. The areas in the brown are that heavier dry air and probably the Saharan dust. You can see it coming from here. But as time goes on with this system, and I'm going to say this is probably some of Gordon's remnants, it does clear some of that dry air out. 
a new massive dryer is going to come in behind this but there's going to be a more favorable environment out ahead of this and if this storm can end up developing it could grow into a pretty strong hurricane this has been being picked up by some of the ensemble models here which we'll look at a little bit later so i do like i said do anticipate at least one more named storm at this point within the next 10 days i have decent confidence in that i don't like to latch onto that too heavily but i've seen a pretty good bit of model agreement here and then here's another feature that's kind of caught my eye here and this is where that little um hazard area has popped up over towards the east coast here for that uh two week period it's mainly this little feature right here that pops up dry air is kind of working against it but it just kind of meanders around the east coast here and regardless of whether this develops or not if this forecast comes into play here it verifies then that's going to be a lot of shower and storm activity over towards the virginias maybe even the carolinas in the southeast before all is said and done here so it's going to be a pretty interesting couple of weeks for the mid-atlantic there and of course you see another surge of storm systems coming off the west african coast as we mentioned before above average rainfall chances over the next two to three weeks over the area definitely kind of gives me that little indicator that things are still going to be pretty busy as we get towards the end of the month here now switching our attention over to the pacific wind shear is a little bit more of a factor but nonetheless though as we go further along here wind shear lightens up a bit too over here so with dry air still being a factor it's going to help keep some of the storm development limited but nonetheless though i do expect maybe a couple of areas that we'll need to watch once again over towards western parts of mexico here's that dry air look again this is towards the mid levels of the atmosphere and as you can see green area is where we have bountiful moisture and plentiful dry air is in the areas reflected in the brown as you can see as time goes on we get a more favorable environment over towards the latter part of the month here so again not really too much in the way of surprises to be had there we do see little low pressures popping up here and there any of these truthfully could develop into a name system it really just depends on the environment at that given point in time so last but not least we'll go ahead and take a look at the ensembles here for the atlantic this is gordon right here here's that feature off to the east coast here and then we see new systems start to pop up over here towards West African coast. I do think there is a chance that one of these could strengthen significantly, especially as we get past that 10 day mark here. Another feature that I've noticed right there, I've been seeing that the last few days when I've looked at model runs here. So I'm kind of interested to see what happens with this. Could that be remnants of Gordon or another system that tries to form? We did kind of see an inkling of this on the GFS ensemble, but I'm still not sure if I'm ready to latch onto that just yet. And then another interesting feature that I'm starting, or another interesting little um, trend that I'm seeing here is just over towards Panama, just to the north of Panama, you start to see these areas of low pressure begin to develop here. Now, I'm not sure if I want to latch onto this either, but that's an interesting run, and that could put Florida maybe in play for some at the very least some shower and storm activity if not some full-on tropical development here one of the models here in particular in this ensemble run has this at it's an 800 uh, 980 millibar low excuse me and that does matter because that would be a pretty strong hurricane at this point if you remember francine as a cat too was getting into the 980s with that so it's a pretty notable storm if that ends up coming in if this ends up verifying here so definitely going to be paying closer attention to this as well and then if we go over to the pacific here we'll run this and you can actually see where elena is and then after that you can see that later down the line we start to see more of those low pressure areas begin to pop up here once again towards the end of the 10 day period so pacific looks like it's going to be getting pretty active too it's hard to say just what kind of impacts we'll have over here towards the u.s but this will ultimately make a pretty big difference over here towards maybe the southwest i'm really hoping that that ends up being the case i know a few of you uh comment sometimes asking about the weather over there i promise that i have not forgotten about you guys i don't talk about you as much as i really should though so i won't lie about that but that being said though i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful again make sure you smash that like button hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that share button as well try to end end out the year pretty strong here for the channel 
be doing something pretty cool towards the end of the year, hopefully. That being said, you guys take care. Have an awesome rest of your Saturday. We'll have another video for you tomorrow. This will be starting to look towards October. Till then, take care.